Hi, it's Susan from Fluid Fitness in the Rowing Room. I hope you are well. We are going to continue uh, with our glute focus today. Um, so we'll spend a bit of time making sure that those good old glutes are activated. And then we are going to do a bit of a longer um, piece just to start testing that, that glute endurance. Not particularly with power, but just in terms of how long, obviously, we can keep, um, keep them involved in the rowing stroke. Okay, so grabbing our handles. Oh, okay, so handle in the fingers, relax, grip thumb underneath. Um, sitting right on top of those sit bones on the seat, sitting up, handle at the bottom couple of ribs and leaning back at that 11 o'clock angle. And we're going to go through pick drill and then we'll go through legs only drill, both ends of the stroke as we build up, focusing on including the glutes and then we'll go into uh, one or two um, pieces. So starting arms only, keeping that body still, pressing the feet against the foot plate as we pull back and a little squeeze of those glutes. That's it. That's also helping us keep this layback position where we obviously have no back support other than our own core muscles. And next stroke, body swing, arms, body, body, arms. Nice and patient. Swinging from the hips, not going for any extra reach with that upper back, so none of that, no more required. And next stroke, coming to half slide, go. So feeling those glutes starting to activate as soon as we change direction, the body forward, and then helping that body to swing back nice and smoothly without the power dropping off. Next stroke, full slide, go. No rush to get there. Loads of time. I'm at a really low 16. Long and relaxed. Firm core and building that glute squeeze as I drive back. And five firmer strokes at 18. Go. So pushing just a little bit harder, a little more acceleration, a little more glute squeeze. Three, four, five. Okay. So we'll warm up from the other end now. So sitting tall, arms away, body over. So always setting up that catch position from the finish every single stroke. Glide forward. And we're going to do top quarter of the slide. So pressing down on the handle, firm abs, getting that connection through the core and also really feeling the tops of the hamstrings contract at that catch, whether which the glutes will then start to join in with as we build the stroke. So sitting ready and press. That's it, looking for that connection. That's it. 
Are those glutes starting to fire? Keep looking for them. Just really small strokes. So slightly brace the abs, ready to pick up the load. And pushing back a bit further. Her heels are down now. Should be feeling more of a squeeze. And back a little bit further, still keeping a bend in the knee. That's a connection all the way through the leg drive. Firm core, glutes, building that squeeze. Now we're going to bring in that body swing, increase um, that glute squeeze to help the hips open. The next one, go. And at this point, you should really feel that squeeze. Relax forward, squeeze. So keep those arms long, hanging from the handle, body forward, helping that suspension. So the core is engaged and really help that connection stay there as we open the body up. That's not a time to relax and go woohoo as you just use your body weight to pull you back. It's a dynamic effort. Squeeze and swing. Okay, full stroke with arms. Go. Okay, 10, slightly firmer, rate 20, go. So we're still less than half pressure. Another five. Okay, that's it, gradually building that build. <laughs> Of the squeeze. Okay, and lighter for a few. Even at light pressure, feeling a little squeeze on those glutes. They are involved in every stroke, no matter what. And next stroke, another 10 at rate 22. Go. So find that rate, still less than half pressure, squeeze, build it in, okay, and lighter. Okay, and from here we're going to build in a little bit of pause rowing. So we're going to pause at the finish. So literally, we finish the stroke, not arms away at the finish. And check that body position is leaning back, that we're sitting up, that we've not swung back to here with a, you can see that, a curved back. Those hips are not underneath, and that we're on top of those sit bones and we've got that little squeeze so we want to make sure we're holding that okay so off we go take two or three to get going and then we'll start those pauses pause go arms away first then body pause feeling that squeeze arms away relax glide That's it, just thinking about the glutes. Build, pause, go. Build, pause, go. Feel those glutes relax as the body goes over. Go. Okay, every other, go. 
full stroke here, keeping that squeeze on, squeeze, oh, I meant pause, <laughs> go, pause, go, pause, go, okay, continuous now, do five more, one, two, three, four, and five, okay, easy there, <clears throat> Right. Um, if you've got <clears throat> any questions at any time about any of this, not sure if you're doing it, um, feel free to, to leave a comment or drop me a message, send me a little video of yourself, I can give you a short bit of feedback. Um, right, so we're going to go on to a longer piece now so we can check how much that muscle memory is getting involved. It can be hard to think of one particular technical point every stroke for minutes <clears throat> on end. So we're going to start that focus and hopefully it's going to start becoming natural with the, um, <clears throat> the, the glute inclusion of our stroke. So going just off just row <clears throat> and I think we've got about six minutes left. So we're going to start at 18, <clears throat> 18 at half pressure, actually even less than half pressure for two minutes, two minutes a little bit firmer, and then we'll do the, um, or take the rate up again. So between 18 and 20. So sitting at the finish, ready to build and row. So building over two or three strokes, brace those abs, that's it, support that leg drive as we get the fan going. Glutes on. Thinking about that pause drill, are we feeling the same at every finish? That's it as we build that squeeze of the glute from the catch and with that core engaged as well helping us to feel that lightness on the seat, that feeling of suspension that we covered before. Much easier to do with long arms and that forward body angle. So keep that patience. Keep the length in that leg drive. And that gradual glute squeeze until the legs are nearly flat. And that glute squeeze increases to open up those hips. Keeping the power on rather than letting it drop off. Okay, 20 more seconds. Rate 18. Between light and half pressure still. Squeeze to keep it on and bringing the power up. Next stroke, feel that extra squeeze now. The legs push a bit harder, the glutes squeeze a bit harder. We've got a little more acceleration as we swing the body back and a little more ratio as we recover. That's it. Keep that 18. Pushing harder than before. Still controlled. Okay, how are those finishes? That's it. Sitting tall at the finish. 
squeezing the glutes, pressing the toes. Good, keeping those strokes long. Unfurl it. Legs to the body, to the arms. Passing that power along. Legs to the body, to the arms. Those abs supporting you the whole way. And the glutes. Okay, we've done two minutes there. So next stroke, we're going to take it up to rate 20. Same intensity. Go. On the drive. Keep sitting tall. Keep those finishes the same. Do not let it drop off. Don't let the extra speed from the rate detract from the way you're pushing. And squeezing, there's that word again. Consistent. Okay, 30 silent seconds. Okay, good. How are those finishes going? We're still on those glutes. Still staying connected till that last millimeter of the stroke. We're creating that last millimeter of the stroke with our glutes. That's it. Little squeeze the shoulder blades, glutes and shoulder blades, squeezing together. Last 15 seconds. Keep that intensity the same. And last one. Easy there. Way enough for wherever you're rowing. If you row in the water. Okay, well done. Well, hopefully that feels good. And we've um, got a couple of minutes to have a stretch. So um, let's start with hamstrings, especially after those pauses, that really helps emphasize that separation and our flexibility in the hamstrings or lack, sitting up and leaning forward from the hips. And I definitely notice a difference between doing this in the morning than in the later in the day. It certainly takes quite a long time to get fully warmed up. And, and flexible. So same applies if you are rowing first thing in the morning and doing an intensive piece, you may need to warm up for longer. Really get everything um, supple and firing and recruited and uh, less prone to injury. Okay, and relax and we'll do um, quad stretch. So just bring that um, heel round to your side, you've got that nice bent leg. And as you lean back, you're going to feel that stretch in the quad. Looks like I'm doing nothing. <laughs> They're the best stretches when you can just relax into it. Okay, nice deep breaths. Good. And bring it round, change sides. That's it. Oh. Good. 
good nice relaxed stretch and we'll finish with the glutes because obviously that's what we've been focusing on um so bring that knee to your chest give it a squeeze bring the other knee up for more compression if you need it shift your balance slightly if you like see if you can get a more satisfying stretch just don't overdo it stretching just to the point where you feel it that's it 20 to 30 seconds okay and change sides last stretch that's it oh it's always good to have a glute stretch all right a few more seconds okay and we are done for today i'll be back at midday for a 50 minute and more intensive workout so maybe see you then bye